Hey, what's going on guys? 3D Icicle Freeze here, or Jake. Um, so, I kind of want to make an update about Dynasty Warriors 9. Because um, I think I, my, I may have treated it a little uh, too harshly. And I probably should have... Okay, here we go. Because I probably should have looked for a water bottle before I started. Because um, I've been playing more of Dynasty Warriors 9. And I finally finished The Way Story. And I thought it was it was actually pretty good, and so I kind of just want to make a little update on. I say little, but this video is going to wind up being 20 minutes somehow. Uh, let's hopefully not. Hopefully, it's just going to be a lot shorter. Um, so I kind of want to like clarify um, again, um, and kind of just give a more fair statement because I think the bad voice acting and the bad graphics like ruined my mood and my hype for this game. And then as I played it more and the and the developers came out with updates, you know, I found things more interesting. Um, and I don't want to deter any long-term Dynasty Warriors fans from buying this game because I think that they should. I just don't think that it's a typical Dynasty Warriors game. I still personally feel it is the worst in the series. Um, but that doesn't mean it's not bad. It just means it's my, it's, it's my least favorite. It's my opinion. You know, this is... Most of what I'm saying is true, but but there are parts where my opinion comes in. So you know you have to decipher well what you know which is which. Um. So I still, my opinion still stands that the English voice acting is is literally garbage. It's awful. Um. The the music is okay. I said it was good last video. The music's okay. You know what, I really don't like how when you jump into like a like a little skirmish or a little battle, sometimes it takes a few seconds to, you know, actually, the music to actually kick in. Like, you'll be killing people and it'll play this calm music from, you know, to getting to that place. And it's like, really? Like, the music doesn't update fast enough with the gameplay, and that is one complaint I have. Um... You know, I would also say, and I still agree that the mini quests that you can do are useless. There's no, there's no, like, there's no motive, I feel like. I mean, yeah, it helps you level up and you get materials to craft things, but you you can work just fine just doing the main quest. And, you know, I mean, unless, I guess unless you're playing on like a really hard difficulty and you want to, and you want to get as much experience as you can to defeat your enemies but I mean even then do you know how long that would take you know it would take so long and it's just not worth it in my opinion uh, the switching of characters is very poor you have to complete a chapter in order to switch characters but once you complete that chapter you you'd have to if you want to switch characters you have to redo that entire chapters by the way chapters can take up to an hour an hour and a half I don't want to redo an entire hour and a half just to play a new character. It's kind of ridiculous. However, so right now you've been watching for three minutes and you're like, Jake, this video is no different from the last one. Well, here's where I'm going to actually, you know, say, um, here, we'll get that now. No, either way, it's in the shot. So, um, but now I'm actually going to go into the reasons why I think it's pretty good. So I switched the voice acting to Chinese and it's actually, um, unbelievably better um you know chinese voice acting with english subtitles it goes very well you know i i guess i was just disappointed because i really like the english voice actors a lot from dynasty warriors 8 7 and, and previous but actually what happened was not a lot of people know this there was actually a um <laughs> I almost just said rebellion. It's not a rebellion. It's like a strike. Uh, the English voice actors went on strike, or they went on, um, you know, I don't know if I would say strike, but, you know, they, there, there were some kind of, like, I don't know all the details, but I know that there was, like, on, they, like, raised, they, like, lowered their pay, and that studio didn't want that, and so they picked a different studio, with, for English voice actors, which clearly was only made up of like two or three people, um, because everybody sounds the same in the English voice acting. It's god awful. Um, but the Chinese voice acting, if you switch to that, or the Japanese, 
Um, it's so much better. And it makes the game much more bearable. And it doesn't make me miss the English voice actors as much. I mean, I still miss them a lot. But it, you know, it doesn't make me hate the fact that they couldn't get the older ones. So that's where I kind of feel like, okay, it's not that bad. Then the gameplay. I was telling you guys last episode that the gameplay was very glitchy and frames would drop and there were no cutscenes. I take that back. There are cutscenes. There are very few cutscenes. But the cutscenes that they have are actually pretty well made. Um, one cutscene they have is of Lu Bu at Hulao Gate. I don't think I need to say anymore. <laughs> it was a great cutscene. Um, so the few cutscenes they have are pretty good. Um, it's weird. They're like mixed. Like some are really great and then others are very uh, like random. Um, so I, so there are cutscenes and they, and they vary, but, but most of them are pretty good. Um, then the, uh, the cutscene music, because I'm very big on that in Dynasty Warrior 7, the cutscene music was phenomenal. Like Wu is my least favorite army. And I, I bawled when Soon So died. Like I was, I was in tears because, and, and Wu is my least favorite. I mean, I still like Wu. I mean, it doesn't mean I hate Wu. I do like Wu. It's just my least favorite out of the four. I bawled when Soon So died. It was an, it was an, it was an incredibly written cutscene. And unfortunately, and with eight, they did a pretty good job too. But to me, not as good as seven. And with nine, eh, I, I'm not. I don't know. I think I need to play more, but the, the cutscene music and the cutscenes don't really grab me as emotionally, but, um, it's still, it's okay. You know, it's not bad. So there are cutscenes. Um, then the, I was telling you guys, I'm sorry. I, I went off track the gameplay. So I don't know if this was from the get go or if they, if they added an update, I know, uh, Dynasty Warriors 9, as of this post, has had a few updates, I think, already. But um, there's actually an option. If you go to the options menu, there are two modes. There's movie mode, and then there's action mode. And action mode makes it so the cutscenes aren't as nice, but the gameplay's a lot smoother. And movie mode makes it so everything looks very nice, but the gameplay could be a little laggy. I don't know why movie mode even exists. To me, it should just be when cutscenes play, they look really good. And when action is in play, it it's it runs smoothly and looks very good. I don't understand because the gra I still stand what I say, the graphics and the smoothness of Samurai Warriors 4 and 4 2 and 4 Empires are all look better than Dynasty Warriors 9. And it's the same company making this game. I don't know why they didn't just use that engine. Because it actually looks better. Um, so that still confuses me. However, when you my game was on movie mode. When I switched it to action mode, it the game is now playable. It is now you can it's not lagging. It's 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 very doable. It's it's actually good. You know, you can actually play the game. Um so if you're if you're like me and you're everything's lagging, go to your options and switch switch to action mode or basically just not movie mode. To me, you know what I can do is finish the game, get all the cutscenes, and then switch it to movie mode, and then watch the movie mo watch the movies in the encyclopedia, and then that way I can kind of get a you know feel for both. I mean the cutscenes are and the movies or whatever are still good looking even in action mode. But they're they're probably better in movie mode. I would imagine. I would hope so. Um, so make sure you do that. Um, so yeah. So that's that's really it. Um, oh, the lighting's really bad here. Um, it's like a glare all of a sudden. I mean, that kind of helps, but or maybe it's just my lighting. No, that actually kind of helps a little bit. There's this big stream of light, but I can't. There we go. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> that's cool. Anyway, though, um, I don't want to have to keep my hand here. Um, I think that's that's pretty much it. So I finished the Wei story. I'm going to start Wu because I really want to play as Chung Pu, who his weapon looks really good. And he's been a character that people have been wanting as as a main character or a playable character for a really long time. 
So I'm, and I tried out his weapon a little bit, and it looks pretty, you know, it it feels pretty good playing it. I've only played a Sao Sao. Like, now I've tried Lu Bu for like a second. I tried Zheng Fei for a second. Um, there are a few people I tried, because you unlock free mode once you go through story mode a little bit. And um, I just tried them for a little bit. And I just, I still think that it's a shame that once you've unlocked a character, you can't switch like mid mid story to me that that would be because dynasty warriors is known as having all these characters and all these there's another thing of light <laughs> anyway um i'm just gonna leave it there um dynasty warriors is known as having all these great you know cut uh cutscenes. yes cutscenes. but i mean all these great characters and the fact that you're limited to using one for the entire story it's just so wrong um you know so that that's still a complaint i have to me to me you should be able to switch like mid battle or, or at least okay if you don't want to say that at least after each checkpoint like you switch to the most recent checkpoint and but it can only be with a character within that army or that you've already unlocked to me that would make sense but Man, it's like if I now if I want to go back and use Shaho Dune, and I'd have to, I can't play on any individual chapter. I have to start back from chapter um, one or two or whatever. Whenever you lo unlock them, I think it's chapter two. And it's like, wow, I don't want to do that. <laughs> like, I just want to. Uh. So there's still some complaints I have. Again, it's still my least favorite in the series. I still think 6 is better than um, this game. I mean, again, at least 6 introduced so many great new mechanics, cutscenes, music, graphics. From 5 to 6, there was a big graphic, um, you know, update. But uh, I have to say, I'm, I'm still a little disappointed with 9. I'm going to keep playing, though. You know, see, the, here's the thing. Like, when I bought Dynasty Warrior 7... And I bought Dynasty Warrior 6 and 5 and, and 8, you know, all those. I played them any chance I could get. That's how much I loved them. Dynasty Warriors 9, I play maybe once or twice, like, on the weekends and on Friday. Maybe, maybe once on Wednesday because I have off. But my life really hasn't gotten that much more busier. And it, 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 there's no motivation for me to really play it. Excuse me. So I'm really, I'm still really hoping that Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires will be a lot of fun. And I'm sure it will. You know, I think it'd be really cool if they, they kept, they kind of did like a mix where battlefields were like really big. Like they are now in 9. But, um, but like they still had it where after like a half an hour or 15 minutes of battle it would end once you captured their main camp or you defeated their general you know their uh commander but um but yeah no so i have high hopes for for dynasty warriors nine empires and i really hope that the series doesn't end here because i would love if they made one more dynasty warriors um but they went back to the original and then added maybe a few more characters did the best they could in terms of mechanics, music, cutscene, cutscenes, and then ended it like that. And actually, people always say, well, I don't want Dynasty Warriors to end. I don't know about you, but I think it'd be so cool if they started a different dynasty. I'd love to learn more, like even the next one. Um, you know, more about Jin and, and what happened after that, you know? And there's, there's, China went through many dynasties so it'd be so cool to start with a new set of characters and and have to learn about them like i'd love that personally you know not everybody does but i'd you know i'd love them i'd love that personally um and then maybe who knows maybe they'd even one day like remake dynasty warriors four or five or you know or whatever seven i i'm i want them to put dynasty warriors seven on xbox one and ps4 it's so good, but I have no means of playing it because I don't have Xbox 360 anymore and I never got a PS3. So I was thinking about 
I'm real, really quick. Um, I was thinking about, I don't, not that they would listen to me, but messaging, you know, um, Tecmo, you know, games or Kyo. I, I can't pronounce anything right, but um, but messaging them or sending them an email saying, would you ever consider putting putting Dynasty Warriors, like like four through eight or even like even like two through through seven or two through six on like one disc be or like that would be so cool or on what nintendo calls it the virtual console like you put it online so people can buy it i'm gonna be honest i really don't like playstation now because you don't actually own the games you're just streaming them and on top of that um sometimes the like things go in and out, music goes in and out because it's ba it's working off of the internet. I want to own it, and so I'm I'm considering you know me uh, sending them an email saying, would you ever consider doing this? Because I think so many people would buy it, old and new. So, but anyway, um, that's just my thoughts. What do you guys think of that? And what do you think of my my two reviews I made on Dynasty Warriors? Um, you know, nine. Do you think it's fair? You know, I I I really want to make a second review because I really. I did kind of judge it, I think, a little too early, but there are still many things I still stand by. So, yeah, I think that's that's everything. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please let me know if there's anything uh, else um, that you want me to talk about in these kinds of videos. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.